Welcome back to the channel everyone, my name is Fabio, and today we're going to be taking a more detailed look at the layer editor in Sketchbook Pro. We'll go through how to use it and look at some of the hidden features that Sketchbook has. So we have Sketchbook open, let's open our layers up. So we go up to Window, all the way down to where it says Layer Editor, click that, and it should appear anywhere, somewhere. So you can move it around, drag it, whatever. You can resize it. If you look at the top, we have four uh, icons here. This plus button, if you click it, it adds a new layer at the top. And Sketchbook has unlimited layers, so you can pretty much add as many as you need. So let's say I wanted to add a group. I can click this button, it says add group. And I can drag my layers into this group, just like that. So now, it just this just keeps things organized. So now I have a group and my two layers there. Next, this is add image, is if you want to add a reference image, you know, import a PNG, something like that. It's just a faster way to do it than going up to file. And here is clear. So if I draw something on my layer, I click this, it erases everything. Awesome, so um, now let's move on. So if you, if you click on these dots here, you'll get a few shortcut keys. So you can add a new layer like that. If I click and hold again, I can delete the layer over here. If I want, I can duplicate this layer. So now I have two. I can also rename it, hide it, right? Which is also this eye. Or I can merge these layers with the ones below. So let's say, for example, I have ears on the layer below. I can merge it, and now I only have one layer. So these are uh, helpful helpful tools just to kind of speed up your workflow, right? So I'm not always going up here. I'm Everything's in one, one place. If you go up here how it says normal, you can change the blending mode. So these, there's a lot of options here and you can get really cool effects for your pieces. So for example, if um, I have a new layer, create a new one, and I put the blend mode on multiply instead of normal, and I can come up here and I have a blue selected and I can paint in some quick shadows. This is just an example of how you can use these these blending modes. Now let's go, this is our color layer. So we have color here. Let's lock it. So see this little lock icon? Press it and it locks, locks the transparency. So now I can take, let's take a bright orange. Say I want to recolor the skin, but I don't want to color out of the lines. Now that it's locked, see how it only puts color on where the pink is because it's locked. If I were to unlock that, I can color anywhere. Let's turn off this so we just have our lines. If you want to reduce the opacity, I can click up here and just drag it down, right? So this is good if I want to clean up my lines, I can reduce the opacity add a new layer and start cleaning up, whoops, cleaning up my line work. Final thing is this background. So if I choose it right now, it's white. I can change the color to pretty much anything I want. So this way I don't have to waste the layer on my background. I already have a color here. If you want to reorder the layers, you click this up here and you can drag it up or down. So let's say, for example, I have this yellowish orange thing on the top. If I drag the bottom layer, it's now behind. Okay, so the layers on the top are in front, layers on the bottom are in behind. So that's it, guys. There's Honestly, Sketchbook has the bare bones, the bare basics, and it's very easy to use. That's why I like it. So I hope I covered everything. I hope you learned something. 
Uh, if you have any questions, leave me a comment below and I can respond. With that being said, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next video.